Hello friends, let's welcome all of you to another video about how artificial intelligence is helpful for us in our research work. Today our topic is how to brainstorm our research topic by using artificial intelligence because we all are subject matter experts but still if we try to find look forward for topic for a different research area we sometimes struggle to find different articles and new innovative topic for doing our research so let's see how the ai can help us in brainstorming and finding some new topics for our research so let me log in to chat gpt and also you can do the same work on gemini or other chatbot or copilot but i'm using chat gpt because i'm more comfortable with it so such I, my prompt is suggest me some topics of research related to let's suppose um, asthma okay okay making it it's not mandatory but still it's better to make sure that uh, suggest me some topic of research related to asthma and I click enter and of course start working on those things and starting started giving me some of the research topic which are related to in this specialty or field as well although I am not a pulmonologist but still you can see if I search here you can see from here what are the topic generative factors in asthma susceptibility environmental triggers in asthma studying the impact of various role of microbiome in asthma, epidemiological trends in asthma, precision medicine, impact of asthma on quality of life. So it has given me some of the topics, but you can modify your prompt. It's not necessary. The first prompt which you give will give you the desired results. You can work around for those things. So let me give the prompt, suggest me some topics of, of research related to let's suppose asthma again the same but in uh, in public sector hospital setting so I am giving a context that I am working in a public sector hospital so give me some topic which is some relationship with the public sector as well so that's how you can modify your prompt if it is something which is related to you for example so if I am given a prompt now the topics which are covered up are different as compared to the previous prompt and by default it's continue to give 10 topics and then stop there but if you want more you can continue the same thing but let's see what are the topics now it is giving to us effectiveness of asthma education programs barrier to asthma care access uh, because of the public health care system you can see investigating the barriers faced by patient assessing asthma care within public health care systems Utilization pattern of asthma services, asthma management and practice in primary care setting, impact of air quality. You can see there are difference in the topics which are coming up previously, which is talked about just a generalized topic and now it is differently coming up from there as well. Not so it is highly desirable that when you are asked giving a prompt you give your more details about what is the thing in which you want to work on there and you will get the different results as well so it's even in not stop there for example this cost effectiveness of asthma intervention let's suppose you find that thing to be related to you you want to do some more research related to that thing conducting economical evaluation well it looks to me difficult but let's uh, see okay let's talk about this is cost effectiveness of asthma intervention let's suppose you want to continue to find out more topic related to this so i have copied it the same pronoun i written can you give me give me some more topics related to and I have paced the cost effectiveness of asthma intervention the same thing I am dwelling deeper down with the same thing which is given me before and now as you can see comparative cost effectiveness of asthma medication cost effectiveness of asthma so everything now the different 10 topics which are coming up are all related to cost effectiveness of the asthma intervention 
and if we could go down up go up and see what are the different things for example cost effective mobile health intervention cost effectiveness of school based asthma programs so all the things which are related to cost effectiveness are coming up and of course as you continue you can give the more prompts and related to those things and find out what are the different things as well so in brainstorming if you know some of the prior things as well you can work around to find out more thing not only this you can do some innovative work by using this artificial intelligence brain which is there to help you for example i am not a pulmonologist nor i am an expert in some other reason as well but i like to do some research maybe in asthma management and is there any role of chat gpt so i don't have anything in my mind right now but just as i am making this video i thought about this thing so let me ask me uh, can you suggest some research topics related to asthma let's suppose management okay so i have added to the word management as well and chat gpt okay so i have added the word uh, asthma management and chat gpt and let's see what the new thing what is coming up okay so let's uh, start working within a seconds as well if i go up and see what are the different things are coming up let's see one by one so what the results are for us development of chat gpt powered asthma self management tools oh great effectiveness of chat gpt in asthma education and patient counseling chat gpt powered virtual asthma educators oh wow new things to develop so okay so you can see here such kind of things are coming up even the same way you can continue working on those things let's suppose if i want this one as the virtual asthma educators control c give me details how i can do this research and i have copy pasted the same thing so i want what is in the mind of the ai that how this can be done just randomly doing some of the prompt so it works so it has started working that you need to do literature work need assessment development of chat gpt powered asthma then pilot testing implementation and evaluation and all others let's talk about those things what i am interested in right now and why i have asked this question is development of chat gpt collaborate with expert in asthma management patient education and conversational ai design to develop chat gpt powered virtual asthma educator determine the scope and current so you can apart from brainstorming you can ask it they have many different questions so it can answer you something of course you need to verify whether the answers are correct or not you need to go deeper down in those things but for brainstorming exercise finding out the different topic in your area of research wherever you are you are pulmonologist you are medical educationist you are a engineer you are an it expert you can work around to find at least to open your mind to new ideas by using this wonderful tool so stay tuned looking forward to see you in other videos which will be coming on your way have a nice time